Hello there, Pierre Rupert here. Thank you very much for tuning in to another video. Um, this is the 2017 Chevy Suburban behind me. Um, this time it's not here because of transmission issues, but it's for brake assist issue. So if you have one of those and you have to use your two feet to push on the brake for it to stop, well, this video is for you and you're going to more likely need one of these bad boys this right here this is the vacuum pump for this vehicle and it's i think it's under some special consideration something like that there's a recall for it actually because it has to do with your safety um and if you have this problem it looks like um gm will take care of it and this is my case but i didn't really want to schedule the vehicle um for service at the service center because they said they, they would take their time and stuff like that so i went ahead and bought the part replaced it myself and then i'm going to request a um a refund from general motors themselves so i think you know doing it myself it's much better so if you have one of these so you already know it it's uh it's i think it's a special coverage that's that's how they call it so if you have one of these and you have this kind of symptom then you know um, don't just go ahead and buy the part and, 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 and have somebody else does it for you. So the dealer will take care of it more likely, right, um, free of charge. So at least this is my case right, right here. So I think if you have a 2017 Chevy Suburban, this may be your case as well. All right, let's get this pump out, shall we? Pump is sitting down there. Yep, the, va the vacuum pump is down there and um it's driven by a different belt i'm gonna get the air cleaner out of the way remove the serpentine belt and get to the pump from what i can see the serpentine belt doesn't really light doesn't really have to come out out this truck has three belts crankshaft driven got that big serpentine belt right here and you got another belt that drives the compressor and another one that drives the uh, vacuum pump a u-joint and an extension would be your best friend to complete this work and as you can see i have quite a few things out of my way i got the uh, vacuum line out of the way um, and there is also the uh, ground wire the engine ground I got that one out of the way as well and also the spark plug wire you can see there that the spark plug is exposed the new one is in there all bolted up I ended up moving the harness to the side I have to move it to the side by taking this 10 millimeter bolt out so now I'm gonna have to put the ground wire back in Put this harness back in its position and spark plug wire and test the brakes. This is it, the job is done. Everything's back together. New pump is in, air cleaner is back in. Everything is in. Um, vacuum line is also attached in position. Let's go ahead and start this guy. find the keys you can already feel the difference in the pumping it's really smooth put it in reverse and you can tell I don't apply the I don't really do a lot of brake application it just stops by itself really smooth oh thank God for vacuum pumps and I call that a fix. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.